Hi guys. Oh, we just filmed the entire <laughs> intro. <laughs> Just, this and is something's happening. Board. Something, well, yes, something's happening here. We've been along for a while. Yeah, we've I been think twenty days have been long away for a while. I said long for a while. I don't know what that meant. <laughs> yeah, I think twenty days have been apparently longer than we thought it was gonna be, uh, because Lola forgot how to press record. <laughs> I literally, like, I did this now yesterday. for this <laughs> intro. I did it yesterday for the, the outro review of Cyber. Just didn't press record. I think. <laughs> So, I don't know what's happening. At Let's hope I press it, record for the episode. That's the most important part. Yes. Because, like, intros and outros will survive. Because that's a big... That, again, that yeah. could be a podcast. I mean, this could be, it's, it's easier for the review to be a podcast. For it's the weird intro, to play the episode. And, and like, you just exactly. see a picture. It's weird, so we have to pre-film this now. Exactly. We have to talk about... And let me just it tell was you, such that a was intro. a fun <laughs> intro. We laughed so much. I can't believe we lost that footage, honestly. Well, because we... <laughs> I mean, we're I don't think we should Omar. repeat. No. I think we should. I think we should just tell you what was funny in that intro. We were talking because of what we were talking about the previous episode, and like we were very excited to watch the continuation of it. But like one of the most important things that was happening in the previous episode was Omar. Okay. And Omar is like one of the girls in Omar's group got shot, but Milna was like Omar's. I don't Band. Think, I don't Omar's think it's squad. Funny when you repeat it. I don't think it's funny, but I just want you to know what we were laughing at for like five minutes straight. So like because like now when I repeat it, I don't know what we were laughing about. Yeah, now when Do, you like, repeat people, it, now see, it's like, embarrassing. That was, a bit. Yes, when you think about it, it was funny for us and if the the first intro. But like when we if we would like have edited that, would have been funny for I, other people. Would they be like? I think it would be no, funny because we love so much. True. You know when you love somebody loves along with you. True. At least that's how I do it, you know? Yes, that's Pretend, true. pretend that's only something. Okay? <laughs> you start laughing at someone, not with someone. Um, it was a fun intro. You're yeah. never going to see it. Exactly. And I was like, I, well, I, it was long. I don't it know was long. It was long. It was long. It's been 14 it was long. minutes long. I don't know. It was so long. We're not going to make this one as long, but like we're going to talk about what happened in the last episode. Yes. And the main thing was Omar. Yeah. He We lost one of the girls from the, his squad. <laughs> We lost one of the girls from his squad, and she died because he. <laughs> this does not make sense. She died because. Uh, I can't laugh when we say so. she died. <laughs> she died. <laughs> you know what I mean? This can't be, can't say words like she died with a full Okay, smile. okay. And Omar feels a lot of guilt. Yes, yeah, true. Because he is kind of the reason that she ended up dead. Because he is the reason that they went into that mission even though they knew that stringer upped <laughs> the uh, security exactly <laughs> and the reason why omar even though he knew it was risky the reason why yeah. he wanted to go is because like he can't let go of his revenge yeah he can't let, let go because of brandon and uh and even now they have a dead body that was like exactly that shouldn't be dead because like yeah. this was so very easily avoided they were like mm-hmm. like they said even they were asking they omar happened. they were asking omar like why just not there are so many places where we can like just get drugs so many easier places why are we going to like the yeah. hardest one basically yeah. he's like because yeah. and now that someone is dead because it's not a good enough reason you know um and he feels a lot of guilt yeah. about that and so like i really wonder how that's gonna how he's gonna continue now because like he was very much wrapped up and being sort of let's say careless because he is wrapped up in his like revenge plan like you said because of brandon and everything that has happened with stringer but like now that someone has died because of that i don't know how he approaches the situation you know what i mean yeah i don't know either. i don't know if he like takes a step back because like he realized because of his carelessness and that need for revenge someone has died and so like now he takes a step back or because someone has died he just goes even more deeper off the edge, well, you know what dep- I mean? In my opinion, it depends, but like, I, if if he decides to continue pursuing his revenge, I think he's gonna do it alone for now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't think he's gonna be involved with this squad, <laughs> with this group of people. Yeah. Uh, so like, of course, I would like more if he would stop, because like, the only way where I can see his character going, if he continues, is down the that yeah. part, you know? Yeah. I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, but I think it's gonna be a very uh, interesting story now with him. I mean, it it so far since season one that was that has been his main story. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, like it's been he about lost Brandon. his boy and then he wanted to 
get revenge for that and he did uh to everybody except stringer stringer is the only one who hasn't paid suffered any consequences for that yeah and like he would have not let it go but like he wasn't yeah that on on stringer yeah. until stringer like basically called in in a way brothers i mean not called in brothers he called in him under false pretenses to yeah. get rid of brothers like yeah. he used them in a way you know he wants to use him yeah and... and so like that's why he is now gunning at stringer yeah. i don't know i literally i don't know how his revenge is gonna go i don't know like I was thinking about it as well. I expect Stringer to die. I don't ex- I don't know how I expect him to die. Because like so far let's say the only person that we see going at Stringer is Omar, but I don't know if I necessarily yeah. see Omar uh, killing really? him. Avon and Stringer are going to have like a conflict there. Like we're heading to that. We're very close to that. I don't know if it's going to be something related to that I, I don't know if it's gonna be fucking Marlo because Marlo is I could never imagine Marlo I like I uh, I don't think like him directly but like also I just think I never expected to have like an issue like Marlo but Marlo terrifies me a bit and it seems like it's gonna continue progressively getting bad uh, I don't know I feel like Marlo is, Marlo is gonna be season 3 thing I don't think Marley's gonna be season, season four? three, four, or five. I think. Honestly. Oh, you just okay? Yeah, sure. Uh, sure. So, like in my mind, I think he's gonna be. Yes, but I was in like this thinking. Season. I was like thinking like potentially. Sure, it could be this season, but it could be not necessarily about Marlo. Like the way the stringer dies, not necessarily about like Marlo, but more uh, more as in line of like stringer was trying to make this work in a different way, in a way that's like more business like, and like the street is the street. And Marlo understands that, like Avon kind of understands that as well. And I think like maybe that's what, it always seemed like that was what was gonna backfire for Stringer. You know what I mean? Like his approach to this world is uh, different and in some ways I think it's smarter, but like it's not gonna work. You know what I mean? Uh, Well, I honestly still think the same thing that I thought before. I just think like, because like, they have been working together and while they work together it has been going good mm-hmm. i think uh, that that is gonna be their downfall both of theirs avon's and stringer mm-hmm. i think avon uh is very street smart but like let's say string level headed him mm-hmm. uh, in season one a lot and where Stringer is book smart, and he could have, and Stringer brought so much to that organization in season one, mm-hmm. and now when Avon is gone and Stringer is, let's say, book smart, he didn't maybe grow up in the same way that Ava did uh, in the street. He thinks differently about this business than Ava does, and that's gonna be his downfall. I think like going up against each other instead of together doing mm-hmm. all this together is gonna be the thing that's gonna bring both of them down like mm-hmm. i don't know if both of them are gonna die or one is gonna end up in prison or the other is gonna end up in prison or like one is gonna die the other you know what i mean yeah like i don't know which one is gonna be it's I gonna feel happen like with Avon because like he keeps talking about how he's gonna exit soon and when you start talking about how you're gonna exit so i'm like you're not, going oh, you're not exiting you know what i mean <laughs> yeah. like it, it, it always feels like that's not gonna happen yeah. so i actually have no fucking clue what i like it seems like someone's gonna shift him in prison you know what i mean that also just like it seems like he is not seeing me, the light of day to me it seems like uh, uh stringer is gonna do something to keep him in prison yeah that's how it seems it seems like to me yeah but like if avon finds out about d and if he finds out what a what stringer did yeah. he has a lot of power on the outside as well yeah oh and we know that like jimmy is like looking into these suicide mm. and he left his phone for the mm. for these ex-girlfriend wife the net. girlfriend and she has been calling stringer but stringer is not like yeah. picking up and so like there's gonna be some type of continuation for that we're gonna have to see i, I like no clue but i'm so i'm so excited to see how that like starts happening and how they yeah. start having those issues because yeah. I think that's about to be very good. I think so. Well. I think that's going to be the second yeah. part of the season. Because yeah. I think Marlo and those things are what's happening right now. Yeah. Yeah, Marlo does not want to play it just, like, seems like by the... what Stringer is like. Yeah, and I mean, he beat up the guys. Uh, oh, yeah, just uh, on the corner. Stringer, yeah, on the corner. And, like, basically, both Bo- Bo- told to Stringer, Marlo is a fucking problem. Like, don't you see? Yeah. Like, we ended up... Yeah. 
beaten up completely, you know? It's like, I think that mm. is mainly what the first half of the season... Like, like mm. I think it's going to be a build-up until, yeah. until it explodes, you yeah. know? Yeah, I agree. Another storyline that we uh, have that's, like, stuff separate a lot from the, the, the main storyline, kind of, is Kari. Uh, it's one of my favorite storylines, and it, it's going to be my favorite storyline of the Senate if it ends well. <laughs> I'm gonna just, I'm gonna be so thankful, but I just really, I really like Kari, and I, it's so very easy to root for him. He, we, in the previous episode, he, like, got back into contact with his ex-girlfriend, and his ex-girlfriend told him that she can put him in touch with someone that can, like, find him a job somewhere, which, like, is gonna be, I guess, where his story now continues, and this might be a thing of us, like, seeing that he can't get a job because, like, he was in prison and he was like convicted and everything and we can see how hard it is to like you know get back on your feet after exiting jail and like why so many people would go back to the life of crime um because like they can't find other ways to to earn money but i hope that he like perseveres i hope that like even if there's a, like a lot of no's that he continues trying and that he doesn't fall I mean, back into at the at least crime. at the end i hope at that least at by the, the end, end yeah end like if the there's like storyline is gonna be hopeful one yeah i would much prefer that i Again. mean that not prefer that's the only acceptable <laughs> for me honestly <laughs> otherwise we quit the show we told you this <laughs> we told you we were gonna quit the show it stands <laughs> it stands so like if you know it doesn't end well no, that that's gonna be the last episode we watch. <laughs> Again, it's so very easy to root for him. And another person that's very easy to root for uh, on the other side, which is like a first, is Bunny. Uh, and what he is trying to do with trying to like put the drug dealing that takes place into another part of town uh, where there's like not schools near and it's not like highly populated uh, or anything like that. And like he is trying to at least do something. You know, yeah. that doesn't just entail the police yeah. beating up yeah. children yeah. that are, like, doing hand-to-hands with, like... And there's, like, no dead bodies, you know, being dropped. It's just, like, yeah. people dealing and buying drugs. Yeah. Hopefully he's gonna... Because, like, that is happening. Yeah. So hopefully that is gonna succeed in some way. Yeah. I would like to see something like that. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure it's gonna, like, make the tiniest bit of difference but like at the end of the day it's like he is one person in an organization that is very much corrupt and that is very much not not programmed to actually be of help to people and to actually it's very much programmed to just like keep them oppressed and so like he can he as one person can only do so much but like again i think you should always try yeah however much like things are not potentially gonna change you should still always try and like that's what he is doing and it's the easiest thing in the world to root for him yeah and i just really i just really enjoy him i think we really got a lot of new characters too (laughs) that are very likable and that you just (laughs) want to see succeed yeah definitely so that's kind of the thing that like we're also the most excited to see yeah for now (laughs) <laughs> yeah. Did we make this intro actually as long as the previous yes. one? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So they this they don't sharpen this at all. <laughs> but at least it's filmed now. At least we filmed it. <laughs> okay. Um, let's play. Let's play. Let's yeah. watch. Amsterdam. Yes, we talked about it. Like, yeah. In the outro. It's called Amsterdam. If only the whole episode would be in the Amsterdam, that would be probably my favorite oh my episode. God. <laughs> Is it Amsterdam because like drugs are legalized in Amsterdam? Is it why we don't appreciate your input, but we are fully committed. So when you see illegal activity, we need you to pick up the phone and call it in so that we can get hold all your questions. Hey, yeah, boy, questions. I'm phone down in six eight five drugs. Yeah, right. And for what? Those boys are back on the corner the next damn day. I know the problem seems insurmountable, but we are making progress. Take a look at this chart. This is uh, uh, my kids. They can't play outside no more. Some nights when we hear these pops, we got to sleep under our beds. I can't even get up my front steps because they occupied by the drug dealers. Is that in that picture you got up there? I apologize for giving you the wrong impression tonight. You mean no disrespect. I know what's going on in your neighborhoods. Ma'am, it pains me that you cannot enter your own front door in safety. But truth is, I can't promise you it's going to get any better. We can't lock up the thousands out there on the corners. There'd be no place to put them even if we could. This is the world we got, people. 
It's about time all of us had the good sense to at least admit that much. What the hell was that? Tired of the bullshit. Tired of making you lose your mind? What did he say to Tom like he lost his mind? He is the only sane person in the building. Why you gotta go and fuck with the program? Fruit. Who the fuck is fruit? <laughs> We cheese. have cheese, no fruit. fruit. Is this cheese? Hi, Cari. Okay. <laughs> Who is what corn is now? The towns mm. are now. I don't know what happened to the Barksdale people, especially. And this day, how much? Let's treat you like a real job. Take five an hour, thirty on the day max. What's your boy was coming to? Johnny? But well, he don't think much of this here with dog. Me, I've been working since I was a kid. Yeah? What's your resume read really like, Bugs? Well, I ain't claiming no payroll job, Kima. Got one of them stock boy jobs. One of those cheapest guys in town stores. Unloading appliances, taking egg and dishes and shit out the customer's cars. Like that. I ain't need a clock radio. See, that's me. Go on, fuck up. 30 on the deck. That'll work. Huh? Do not even look at him. And this here is your get out of jail free card. On this card is my full name and phone number. What is happening now? Huh? Police officer was shot in this neighborhood oh, a couple yeah. of weeks ago. I'm looking for the officer's gun. I just... Nine, which happened to misplace itself during this incident. Is it is that did that important? No. I don't care. I don't care who has it now. See, her could have beaten up for that. I just needed to find his way home. I'm very concerned for Bob's all the time. What do we owe the honor? Why, you got something going on? Nothing too sexy, just pushing the case uphill inch by inch on Kentel Williamson, our stated target. Are you gonna listen to me, McDalton? <laughs> got a real case to bring in. A fellow named Stringer Bell, you might have heard of him. <laughs> you got a mouth on you, boy. <laughs> Fuck it, by now, for all you know, it's not all that downtown real estate. Motherfucker probably owns half Baltimore without us even knowing it. That ain't the point. You even know what happened to all that real estate, Lester? It calls off right now. You, me, Daniels, all of us. You even pretending to speak for anyone other than yourself, McDalton? Mm. Speaking for the job. You want to talk about police work? I was doing the job when you was just dreaming on it. Daniels was out there too. Now you're gonna fuck him when he pulled you off a goddamn boat? The boss. Fuck the bosses. Maybe Daniels plays a few games to get by, but he's cost himself plenty for the sake of the job. He's earned some loyalty. Fuck loyalty. Fuck you, Lester. I never thought I'd hear that chain of command horseshit come out of your mouth. Now this here may not be perfect, but it's a chance to be police. Well then be one. Put fire to everything you touch with naughty, then you walk away while it burns. I'm surprised at you, girl. Daniels raised you from a pup. This did nothing for Jimmy. He didn't even register. Check fucking properties. <laughs> the thing is, like, Lester is right, but also Jimmy is pursuing what he should be pursuing as well, but, like, he's doing it for the wrong reasons. But, like, we should pursue it still. I'm really not sure where exactly the story he started at all. Oh, better be fucking good. Better be fucking good. I mean, there is gonna be a good story. <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah. No, but like, better be happy. They got corners up on Hog Island. And a long female up top. Okay. What about the lower avenue corners? From the Poe homes? They belong to the young boy named Marlo. Mm -hmm. What about a name Black? Marlo? Young boy. Got all that good real estate near downtown. Got himself lunchtime trade. Jessup, apparently. 
and a big gold star next to his name. Mr. Barksdale ran a continuous violent criminal enterprise yep. and was a major drug trafficker. <laughs> Poor commission's not going to walk him on his first trip to the plate. Um, After a letter like that. Mm. No, I feel like he's gonna get out because it's, like, yeah. it's gonna be fine. So it's not gonna be fine. Every day. God, just no one approach him. Like, no one approach him. He probably... <laughs> no, call for that job. That's what he's calling for. Well, what, what was he calling? <laughs> String is a settled guy. But there he I'm sure she's real nice, though. Good school spirit. Always says how you in the hall. You think he met her in college? What? What did I think? Huh. College. College. <laughs> okay. Marlo Stanfield. 22 years. number. Pretty good sheep. What, you thought he'd be cherry? Yeah. What? What does he have? Trust. I think I'm gonna take a ride downtown the homicide. Wanna come? Nope. He's got some place to be. This thing with Lester? I feel like shit about it. Then you get used to it. <laughs> Sh Girl, Girl, when you start looking like Jimmy, fucking, you have to start reevaluating yourself. I mean, I love my boy, but like he is screwed up. What are you doing? Punk, <laughs> what are you doing? Why is it always you? <laughs> does not bode well for the recovery prospect of our missing firearm, does it? <sighs> my God. What up, Mr. Bob? <laughs> Marlo Stanfield. AKA Black. Black. The boys are spawning the devil king. <laughs> what they call Pooh Bear. Chubby fellow with braids. Okay. He stashed okay. Pooh over in East Baltimore. He even had him win one of those uh, electronic bracelets so he could find him quick. You lost it? Not exactly. Boy went back to the west side to cop some hydro. He found it with two in his chest and one in his mouth. The bracelet led us right to the spot where he fell. Oh, no, serious. That motherfucker's real. And he scares us as well. It's computers every day. Can I keep it? Yeah, if you want to. This was a nice dad moment from you, Jimmy. It's good that you came. He's very proud. Jimmy, um, there's a problem with the alimony. You're behind by like four months. Jimmy. What can I tell you? I'm not paying 2,000 a month in support. After that, there's nothing left. Look at how much I make. I'm not even close to being able to pay that much every month. My lawyer says that we have to serve you. Hmm. Would that suit of a boyfriend won't cough up any cash? Beginning today, you can sell drugs in West Baltimore. Only way we say you can. Get to it, people, and don't get captured. God, how's that going? Ah. This is a simple fucking thing we're saying here. If you stay on this corner, you're going in a wagon. If you move yourself down to the free zone, down to the vacants along Vincent Street, then you can do whatever the fuck you want. This corner is indicted. Coming back tomorrow. And when we do, everybody wears bracelets. We don't give a shit. Vincent Street is like Switzerland. Or Amsterdam. <laughs> what the fuck is that? One of those countries where drugs are legal. Mission Street is your Amsterdam and Baltimore. You go down there, we don't give a fuck. You stay here, you go to jail. I ain't going to Amsterdam. <laughs> Kill a witness on The way they're burning up, they told it, yeah. Yo, I'm asking them corner boys if they know where the Barksdale package be at. They ain't looking at me like I ain't even talking. On this, on this split model, the name right now. And there it is. You see? In the car. You have rubbing in the car. What did you throw? Yeah. Those. We're kind of sensitive about giving out personal data on matriculating students. Why well, <laughs> come back with a court order? My man has serious issues with women. Domestic violence. Really Jimmy, ugly. Jesus Christ, Jimmy. What did we tell you? What did we fucking tell you, man? We told you to get yourselves down to the free zone, didn't we? You take your crew down to Vincent Street. You do your dirt. <laughs> Nobody's gonna bother you. Like the way they speak. You guys though. fucking brain dead? What do you say? Huh? 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 Yo, Chief, how you gonna come up here and try to game? Say what? I'm saying you acting like we retarded or something. Better we put a foot in your ass? At least we'd understand it. This ain't a trick, shit, Bird. Look, we grind and y'all try to stop it. That's how we do. Why you gotta go and fuck with the program? All due respect. <laughs> Give me some buses. Tomorrow we clean the corners. From here to Fremont. We got Boxdale's people, East Side is a pre too. In the same corner? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Strange drugs. That shit don't make sense. What the fuck is up with these phones? I've been seeing kids throw them away all day. They got cash like that to waste. Burn this kid. Burn it. They oh. did say that they'll not talk on the phone. Yeah. This is why everyone's leaving this city. Black and white. I was at a community meet Sunday in West Baltimore. People were spitting mad. And I can't say I blame them. Well, they could move to a better neighborhood. That is, if they were willing to work for it. Come on, I've been hearing all 
that my poor immigrant father made his way down the blacks bullshit my whole life. All I'm saying is it's, it's not about color. So what's your next move, Tom? My son says in Anderson State Tennessee is off the grabs. I'm gonna run for mayor. Huh. <laughs> she in a red joint? Who was it? Who was he? I didn't recognize it's just, him. Okay. Mm. What can he get from this? Mm -mm. Like, okay, he is studying, but like... We each give you 10. 20? Fuck. Oh, please. UAP? Oh, Son of a bitch did it. He did you. That's Teresa D'Agostino. Mario D's kid? Tommy's known her ever since long. <laughs> Just hear me out. Go ahead. You're paying for it. I was literally like, no woman has ever smiled up at a man, a stranger that comes to sit next to her. That was a lie. I'm gonna make a run for mayor. And you're gonna run my campaign. Give me one good reason. Why not? I could give you ten, but here's the good one. You're the wrong color. You're not electable here. And I never play the long shot. You like to win. I don't like to lose. It's not the same thing. I need someone like you on my side. How big a win bonus? Get a white man elected in Baltimore, honey. You name your price. Go home, sleep it off. You'll wake up and realize you're making a mistake. Hmm. Little finger. <laughs> I literally, I. What are you gonna do? I don't know. What is like? What is about to be happening now? Are you just gonna follow him? Or are you gonna what? call him? B and B. B and B. B and B. I'm so happy with himself. Mm. Oh my god. Do you see who's no, coming? No, stop, 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 stop. Your boy gave me a number, said to bring you up when I was ready to put in some work, but no answer. And you don't know who y'all talking to, man. You still ain't say your business, man. Trying to get put on. What you got in mind? Whatever you got that pays. Yo, poop. Come here, man. Call Shan Rock, man, and tell them soldiers finally came into the camp. You a soldier, huh? Chill, Bodie, man. Chill, man. Oh, Bodie brought Yeah, that's right. Hmm. Shit, I remember your little ass when you was still in diapers. <laughs> I used to spar with your older brother James. That boy had a killer left. Yeah, when he ain't dropping. Yo, he still out here? Hmm. James been dead. I'm saying, what they doing with niggas on that corner? Hey, look, dog. First thing we're gonna need to do is get you some chrome. Look, come on, man. So we're still talking more return than just flipping the properties for the condemnation money. Way more. Huh. Half out. No, so go ahead and fill it up. You got the order number, right? Literally kidnapping them. That's the thing. They're fucking. They literally. I was just thinking, what is the? I was like, what is the legalities of this? But like. One person can be fixed, just like, oh, go there. Everyone, like, get it together. Play nice. Apologize, Jimmy. Tell us, I'm shot. <laughs> Let me see. Look, look what I know. Registrar gives up Stringer's course schedule. Get up early next morning, follow him from his door to a lunch meeting with the state senator. And all while Stringer's using his cell phone. Making they know all this, I feel like. like. No thing. Shit, I even rang it up myself. Got his number from uh, the missions for him. Number wouldn't be uh, eight four four seven three. He already went and said BNB. They already have it. I had Prez pull the BNB property assessments and land transfers from circuit court. Some of the paperwork asked for a contact number, so I'm not surprised our boy is using his cell phone so free. Those right there are the incoming and outgoing numbers on his phone. 
He destroyed him. He literally destroyed him. The same thing in season two when he was like, so much more than Jimmy. He's saying he's right. I'm saying the phone is right. I swear. Maybe the cell phone is clean because he's keeping it. If it was dirty, it'd probably be a burner. <laughs> is this the first time they heard of burn? I don't know. Because, like, I keep forgetting that this is like 2000 and like yeah, four possibly, or something. Yeah, latest in your tech. Uh, latest, okay, yeah. sure. <laughs> well, the fuck are you supposed to get a wire up on that? <laughs> String is out of reach. You know, a couple of years ago, when they were buying up all that downtown real estate, I thought they were buying it to flip it and get the cash when the federal payout money lands and the properties are condemned. Bell and Box, they haven't sold any of it. They're buying more, in fact, and applying for building permits. Seems that Stringer Bell is worse than a drug dealer. He's a developer. <laughs> Jesus fuck, he's real legit. Well, you real police. Now he's out in the open, why don't you pull him up and ask him? You need a few days? I'll stall Daniels, but after that, you come home with a case we can use, or you swallow your goddamn pride and hmm. rejoin this unit. I think that's fair. <laughs> Literally. I love last time. Oh, Me too. oh, oh. What is, what is gonna happen now? I don't know. Okay, he... I'm sorry for not returning them calls. Sorry, I don't keep my bed warm at night. Ain't like I'm trying to shut you out. I just got business to attend to, you know? Do you know how it feels to be alone out here? Please come to my door and I got no one to stand beside me. You said the detective let you in a car? What are you going to do with that? He said D'Angelo was no suicide. Something about the way the marks was on his neck. He said you could have been murdered and shit. <laughs> Should I be concerned about Jimmy's well-being? I don't think so. I don't I'm think like... so either, but... Walls, no, everyone else. Ain't nobody gonna do his nephew. <laughs> Except you. I did you wrong by keeping you at arm's length. But it ain't gonna be like that no more. My boy, I remember, I will avenge you myself. <laughs> I will fucking avenge you. I got two dead. What feels like a drug rip up in Pemaco. And the young is out on the scene, they seem to know this whole mom fell up by sight. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I need all my chips. Again? Down there, she's a number two, I think. I'm having no trouble, you know. You're my boy. Oh. <laughs> Someone approached me <laughs> and my mom died a week ago. So sorry, what do we do about that? If you're going to, I don't know her name. Oh my god. Oh my god, is Daniel's gonna open? Is Daniel's gonna. That's gonna be so awkward, awkward. for all of us. Andy? Just don't open. Just don't open. Bye. Oh, but like he's drunk. He's not gonna let me leave. <sighs> Rhonda! Come to me, to me, to me. <sighs> if he could stop drinking, that would be a great first step in life. Oh, is Dan in his car? How do you know that drunk? Yeah, he's Dan in his car. <laughs> Just walk away. Okay. There isn't one new allegation in this letter that wasn't already raised by the assistant state's attorney at the time. What's supposed to happen now? I don't know. Given my client's superlative record during his incarceration, and given his notable role in identifying the source of the overdose deaths at this facility last year, I respectfully ask that you honor our existing agreement and approve Mr. Barksdale's early release. That's bullshit. We made I agree. High school girl with platinum around her neck. Only one place she came from. Do my man is think. I think. <laughs> Nothing's happening good. <laughs> yes, but like maybe that's better. Because like we have to go like this so you can go like this, you know what I mean? Oh god, we're having a conversation. He's not in love with her, it's fine. Literally. <laughs> oh, that's nice. I need to know this isn't going to be a thing between me. Nah, I wish you both all the best. Thanks for making this easy. This is my boy. Does he have a plan? What do you mean? I don't know what I mean. But like, the guy told him like, basically, stay out of it. Like, it's not rewarding, but like, stay out of it. And then he immediately went and did this. Does he have a bigger goal in mind? Like, does he think, let me earn fast money? Which is not maybe the best thing, but like, maybe he just wants to earn money right now fast and then just like, do something else. Surprise. 
Hey, bro, I'm letting y'all get your hands up. Sometimes you got to. Who, who? There is no good number to call, my boy. There is literally no good number to call. Don't call your ex-wife. Don't call Rhonda. <laughs> what is my third option? You know what I mean? Nothing here is good. Call no one. Oh. I think he realizes he doesn't know what to call. <laughs> he isn't literally. And no one wants to be with him. My boy. Like, we need to... Introspection. You know yeah. what I mean? If he just stopped drinking. <laughs> first. <laughs> if only that. Yeah, just that. Just that. Just stop drinking. They tell the girls to have sex with him because, like, it's. it's... Yeah. <sighs> what can I tell you? Look, it needs to be bad before it gets good. What can I tell like, you? Like, it needs to. We need to go get downhill. Maybe this is a good thing. Maybe. Maybe it's a good thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, maybe. maybe it's fine. What is it called? Straight, uh, straight into. And arrow. I press record. <laughs> I just want to talk about Kari. I just oh look, maybe this is a good thing. Like if we think about it, if we think about it, yeah, definitely. I think yes, so. it was a matter of time. It can't all go like this. You know what I mean? Like you have to show the struggle after coming out of jail, and like before going to jail, you only like knew this one life, and it is like the easiest thing in the world, honestly, to just like fall back into it. I mean, you have been invited, basically. Yeah, 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 yeah. Been... yeah. And, like, it's everywhere around you. And, like, he was riding on the back of the trunk and, like, trying to, you know, do something else. And then, like, he saw those two guys. They're in the car and I guess it reminded him of, you know, when he was also, like, a big shot and, like, they were going, dealing drugs, having guns. I have no idea what the fuck they were doing. But, like, it reminded him of that old life. And, like, I guess how easier it was for him to do that. Because, again, that's, like, all he knows. And so, again, the... it's the easiest thing in the world to fall back into that. Yeah, that's that's what uh, how he grew up with. Yeah. Like, that's the only thing he knew. And uh, it makes sense. It's just, like, to me, it didn't I didn't expect it that moment. Like, we had one scene where he watches them, then one scene where he talks to a guy. Yeah. And then immediately in the next scene, he's the one... It's not like some, somebody... What? Yeah, yeah. It's not like somebody pursued him at yeah, that point. I, know, I, I know, understand I how he's thinking, and I understand that maybe that was on his mind since yeah. the beginning. Yeah. But, like, it just, like, to me, at that moment, I was a bit confused because, like... I did not expect that. I mean, to I was like, he is calling for the job. He's the, I was yeah. like, he is calling for the job. The guy that spoke to him. And I was like, like, oh, I thought you said you. I thought you meant he was calling for the job uh, for the number that like the girl. Yes, that's girl, what I thought. Oh yeah. Yeah, I was like, and the, I was the, like, the, the why good would job. she give him a number that's not like that does not exist? Yes, and so like when it, it didn't, it was when it didn't exist, I was like. Hmm. Then that would allude that it's probably one of the like drug yeah. dealing things. But I was like, maybe, maybe they just maybe the the guy <laughs> from the church. I think maybe. that's what he said. What what she said. I was like, maybe, maybe he just changed his number. Yeah, or I was like, <laughs> uh, he's really out of luck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me too. I was like, we're really trying to make this work. I was really trying for it to like not go down the like let's say direction that it's most likely yeah. to go down on because like the guy before again that was like you know taking them to the place where they're gonna you know do a bit of what is the good job called gardening mm -hmm. something you know when he told them that he's been like uptown for i don't know the past 10 years and that like he used to drive i don't know a better car and like because he was also, I guess, doing any illegal uh, things. He said some of us do as in, like, give up that life. And that he should keep straight. Yeah, he was like, I don't even remember that the car that I was driving. I don't yeah. think about it. Like, you you want to keep straight line yeah. or something like yeah. that. And uh, just do the job every day. I don't know in which way that conversation affected Kali. Well, clearly not in the best one. I was like, because, like yes, he, listen to him. And because he's like, like no... <laughs> Yeah, because like you said, like he potentially has some plan in mind, you know. But like to me, like yeah, I don't think there's a plan. Like thinking like, about even it. Even no, if no. it, if there is a plan, 
it's a bad one. Yeah. In my mind, because like it's not like you can earn quick money and get out of the business. You know what business you're entering. If you enter that business, you stay in that business. Yeah. It's not gonna. I don't think it's gonna be now easier because like when Mm -mm. when he comes like he came back. Yeah. When he again experiences easy money, let's say, yeah. even though it's mm, not, but like the, it's so hard actually. You yeah, know? when he falls back into that into the game, yeah, it's gonna be so much harder now to get out. But like just the fact that like he immediately went back in, yeah, like maybe gives me hope that yes. potentially he can get out. Just like in my mind now, I can't think of. Um, away i don't know if he like you know if he's not if he's like doing all this and whatever and like they tell him to do something i don't know what like i don't know maybe beat up someone maybe do this i don't i don't know but like or he sees something or whatever that makes him think that like he does not want this actually that he is not that person that like entered the jail anymore I agree. I don't know. It just like if he if they because like he needs something. go and beat up, or go and kill this one, go and do this, and he's like, no, sorry. Well, that's the thing. You. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how he would like walk away from it. That's, you know what I mean? That's the that's the most confusing part for me. Like how he could possibly get away from this now. Like it, he and Avon were speaking I mean, maybe in the it's jail. Be... It seemed like Avon liked him. Yeah, but like maybe maybe it's gonna be much easier that we are talking about. Mm-hmm. It's just like the way they are the, that I imagine it. Yeah, like, there's like no easy way out of the whole thing. Exactly. I don't know. I feel like we're on a good track. <laughs> like, yes, this is was this like rough now? Is it about to be rougher? Yeah, but like that means that would like we can go up. Yeah, you I know? just like, I just hit to, bottom. I just need the story to make sense, you know. Yeah, and that's the only thing that, that I need, and it's just like that I can't figure it out right now. But like maybe yeah. in a few episodes. It's gonna make perfect sense how. I mean, he I wanna was... see. I wanna see him not functioning in this world, yeah. like after such a long time. And like yeah. he says that, like things are a lot different than they used to be. I wanna see how he functions right now, and like if he doesn't even realize that he is not that type anymore, that he maybe doesn't doesn't wanna do it or something. Yeah. I don't know. But like that's gonna be very interesting to see. Uh, there was a scene with him and uh, Bodhi, a very mm. brief one, but like it really sad. Yeah. That like he said like, oh you're Bodhi, and then he said his last name. Basically like I used to like hang out with your brother James. Like yeah. what's he up to these days? But like they made it immediately when he had James, Bodhi's face sort of concentrated on what he was actually saying there, and then like when he asked this he like where is he now? Bodhi was like, I mean James is has been dead. <laughs> For a bit now. That made me really sad. Never mm. knew Bodhi had a brother. It makes sense. It makes sense that he has lost so many people in this like world and everything. But it just makes me... Always makes me very sad actually when I see yeah. Bodhi. Maybe. I feel like so much love towards him. And so like kind of everything with me pains me. Because I just think it's going to be so tragic. And it just... It always makes me sad watching him. It's like learning that he had a brother who died just gives the story a whole other level of sadness as well. Yeah, you can even see in his face in, yeah. the, in the way he reacts to the fact that like he, he, he the James is dead. Yeah, uh, that made me sad, sad as well. But yeah, I definitely think. I mean, I think that's the only thing that like in my mind I know for sure, hundred percent that like boy's story is gonna end tragically because like it never had any hope any slices of like yeah there's nothing. to make me hope for something no, there's you know nothing like for Cardi, you can say yes there's for many potential yeah, that he like can get even out. for even for the michael b jordan oh my god wallace wallace right? i was like i was like thinking where's wallace <laughs> okay i was like <laughs> jasper it's not jasper i love her go to jazz <laughs> how the fuck do you get to jazz i don't know wallace <laughs> Uh, for him it looked yeah, like it could, yeah. could, like it could he, happen for yeah. D it looked like it yeah. could happen but yeah, yeah. like Bodhi is the only one that you can see it like his you can see his path pretty yeah. clearly yeah and it definitely ends tragically yeah and I'm not I'm really not ready for that unfortunately yeah but that's what we are with Cuddy not yeah. like not in the best where are we place. with our boy Jimmy <laughs> Jimmy realized he has no one to call. I just, like, I really... When is the wake-up 
call it gonna happen. I don't yeah. fucking know. Like, maybe end like of the wake show. Wake up slap. Literally, legitimately, end of the show, maybe. If, yeah. like, maybe that's the best option for it to happen, like, end yeah. of the show. Because he is an incredible asshole. But, like, he's a very lovable asshole to me. Like, I feel a lot of love towards him. Everyone is correct in what they say about Jimmy. Lester, everything he said, on point. You know what I mean? This is... Everything there is personal for Jimmy. And he thinks that he is, like, the smartest person in the room most of the times. But, again, like, half the times he is. Like, he is on the right trails. He he make, he comes to right conclusions, you know? But, like... Everything Lester said was also correct. Yeah, I completely agree with uh, Lester in that mm. scene because, like, this is what is happening now. I understand that you want to get by yourself. You yeah. don't think, like, Lester doesn't want to? Like, yeah. Lester is as interested, not yeah. not really, but, like, he's he's the best police out there. Yeah. And he's always, in my opinion, doing it for, for the right reasons. Yeah. It's not personal ever for him. It's yeah. just, like, the thing that, like, he wants to do the right thing. Yeah. You know? And uh, he's always doing it. But like this time, to keep this department to actually become something, we need they need to do the Follow, job that yeah. D- Daniels told them. Yeah, even though like realistically, realistically like what Jimmy wants to do is much more important. Like they're they're concentrating on like small level, I don't know, fucking peanuts. You know what I mean? Like who the fuck cares? I know, but like uh, they need, I, I understand, but like realistically they need to get paid. Meaning their department needs of to course. keep getting paid to exist. They destroyed yes. the wire that like they have been paid for six, six months, I think, without yeah. getting anything from yes. us. Yeah. So like, I'm not saying you should stop. You should continue searching for it. But like yeah. at the same time, you can't dismiss this job that yeah. you got, yeah, even yeah. though you you think it's not yeah, important. Yes, even though because, it, like, I mean, again, in the in the grand scheme of things, it is really it, unimportant. Un, but yeah. like, it's the job that you have to do. Like you know, for for Daniels as well, who like put his career on the line you know for them as well and jimmy is like well no this is that is not important stringer is out there like why the fuck are we concentrating on like i don't know the small level criminal or whatever it's like sure of course he's like, <laughs> fuck, like fuck, also, Daniels, fuck you yeah but like he i mean he, he, again he is in the wrong while also being in the right with what he is pursuing because i mean we saw that at the end when he was like talking exactly. to lester about how do you know that stringer owns probably this and this and this and, like, uh, Jimmy exited the room and Lester's immediately, like, check that. Like, because, like, Jimmy is smart. Like, we see the smartest person in the room. When Lester is there, no. But, like, he is smarter than most. Like, he is good police. You know, he is good at what he does. And he is going to go down the right trails. Again, are his reasoning and, and his approach kind of personal and asshole A lot of the times, yes. Most of the times, maybe you can say yes. But... I I still, like, root for him because, like, he's doing what, like, I want them to do as well. But, like, you also have to consider that... I mean, Lester is fully in the right. Yeah. Lester is just fully in the right yeah. and that's it. And I think at the end of the day, what what happens at the end of the day is the only option that they could... That they have. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, and, like... That, and it's not like Lester is not interested in it. It's not like Lester doesn't want to do it. Lester yeah. just wants to respect, the, uh, respect Daniels because, like... And he understands that without this, they can't have, they can't yeah. follow Bar- Barzil, they can't have our, they can't have anything yeah. without this. Yeah. So, like, it's not like, yeah. it's just how it is. Yeah. Is it right? <laughs> no. But the thing is, Jimmy's not gonna, Jimmy's not gonna comply. You know what I mean? Like, Lester told him, basically, okay, I don't know, take some days or whatever, and if you cannot come up with something, you need to come back to the job that we are supposed to be doing. You know, and just, like, leave leave Stringer and, like, your personal grudge or whatever behind. And, like, Jim was like, okay. And I feel like he might have he might have actually done that. But, like, the whole thing at the end happened, which is, like, what the whole problem with the Jimmy is, is, like, that his loneliness and, like, the only actually thing he has is, like, his job and, like, being good at that. And so, like, when he doesn't have anything, doesn't have anyone to call, he has to concentrate his energy on something else well, and so like he is gonna continue he's gonna continue pushing them to work on stringer yeah but like I in hope one way or another i hope that they're gonna find something i hope that they're gonna have at least one thing that they can 
Well, that's the thing. Like at the end of the day, is like whatever Jim pushes them to do, it it's like something comes out of it. You know what I mean? But like he also always forces them to do things that he wants the department to do. You know, he's not forced them to do this as well. Well, I'm just hoping that like something's gonna come out of it. I feel like it it, is. like like that it's gonna be like Lester said. Like if you don't find anything, yeah. and if Jimmy is the only one continue doing it, I don't like that. Mm. I mean, like everybody's... I think they're gonna find something. Yeah, I, that's I think what they're I gonna think be is forced that... to it, you know, by Jimmy. What do you mean as forced always? to it? What does it mean? I well, like, you know, when in season two he gave the bodies, he forced the all the girls' bodies okay. to go into the apartment, you know okay. what I mean? Like, that is the correct thing. Like, they should investigate that as homicide. Okay. He forced them to take it. I understand, but, like, in this case, it's not like they don't want to. Like, all of them want to continue working on the Barkdale case. It's just, like, the fact that they don't There's have any yet. any evidence. If he gives them one yeah, evidence, find something, I, yeah. f- I feel like everybody's going to run to that case. Yeah. Like, I feel like Lester first doesn't want to do this. Yeah. He does it because he understands that that's the only way that the com- compartment can function, yeah. can yeah. work, can get money, can continue working on yeah. Barksdale day, uh, case at the end of the day. Yeah. At least that's how I understood it. Yeah. So, like, that's why I think, like, uh, Lester is completely in the right here. I understand what Jimmy... And I would like if Jimmy would be able to find something, <laughs> not just like him by himself, him doing one this thing yeah. for six months mm-hmm. until he finds something. You know what I mean? Yeah. I just think because also at the end he had the scene with Daniels as well, where like they were talking about the the girl, yeah. which like I, I feel like, yeah, Rhonda. And I, I don't think Jimmy is going to necessarily like take it personally. He did like have a longer look at Daniels It's not about Rhonda, you know what I mean? It's not not about her at all, but I just think... It, to me, it, to me, seemed like Jimmy is gonna do, again, what Jimmy does best and somehow screw them all into that case. That, like, maybe they don't want to take, maybe they think it's pointless, maybe they don't think they're gonna come to anything, but, like, I feel like they're gonna do... They're gonna come to something. Because, like, it's Stringer, it's a big thing, and, like, we should, like, we should work on that, you know? But, like, it, it seemed like there is, like, something that's gonna be happening because, like, Jimmy held, like, a second longer look at Daniels than, like, necessary. You know what I mean? Okay, maybe. I, I, I that scene, in that moment, I got differently a bit. I, like, in that moment, to me, I know it's not about Rhonda. It's about himself mm. feeling lonely and not having anybody else. Mm. And in my mind, it, it was, like, it has nothing to do with Daniels, per se. It has to do with himself. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. his wife uh, doesn't want to be with him. Rhonda never wanted to be yeah. with him. She always saw like she always said, "I'm not your girlfriend. What am I to you? Like what? Like why well, are we doing this stuff like that?" Stringer. He's yeah. not gonna let her go. Nor should he. Yeah. I just like the the only thing that like I hope is that he's gonna find something. Yeah. So that like they would all have that they would all work on that. Yeah. Together. Yeah, yeah, I just don't know what. Not him staying on the department and screwing everybody over while well, everybody's holding things together. Yeah. And at the end comes Jimmy. Oh, good for you. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what, I mean? What, what, what the fuck did I do? <laughs> what do you mean, what the fuck did you do? I don't know. Jimmy but like, is... I think that's what, what's going to happen. I yeah. think he's going to definitely... Look, Jimmy is consistent, if nothing else. <laughs> like, nothing here is out of character. You know what I mean? <laughs> He is an asshole, but like I still I love him very much for it. Mm. Bunny, we had Bunny. <laughs> Bunny, what? Oh, well, like first I have issues with them just like having a school bus and just like pushing them all into a school <laughs> bus. Like I have a lot of issues with that. They brought them all into their school. I mean, these are all children. These are all like I guess all high school like yeah. grades one through four in high school. It's very. <laughs> Like, again, to just, like, paint you the picture that these kids are in high school. You know what I mean? Like, they, they are yeah. that young. They just, like, when they put you in this environment, even though, like, everyone knows it, we don't forget it. I think every fucking episode where, like, they did they, their yeah. kids. We know it. But, like, when they put them in, like, a high school setting, it becomes, like, even more prominent. You know, that they are so young. And they wanted them to comply with them, like, moving from the street corners that they're in right now to that, like, let's say abandoned yeah. part of town that they called Amsterdam. Yeah. Because, like, in Amsterdam, yeah. drugs are uh, legal. I don't know when they become... When they, when, they, when they became legalized. This is 2004. No fucking clue when Amsterdam became legalized. I mean, in the Netherlands. Basically, like, Bunny wanted to do that which again it's 
he is trying his best. Like, he is trying to do the best he can with a thing that has n- that doesn't have, like, a definitive answer and is not as simple as just, like, oh, if we do this, then these things change. Because this is a, this is a systemic thing, and so, like, it's brewed over many decades, many ages. Like, it is not as easy as saying, oh, just, like, let's do this, go there, they don't trust you they're used to this, it's not gonna, it's not gonna be happening in that way, which is, like, why Bunny at the end of the day can only fail, because, like, he is one person Mm. that is trying to, like, do something mm, all all of a sudden. Yeah. Like, it can, like, uh, they don't respect you, nor they should respect you as police. I I mean, I fucking respect you. They're talking to them while, like, everyone's, like, holding their hands on the ground, they're speaking to their backs, they're treating them like fucking animals, and they expect them to just like think that they are what looking out for for them no that's what i wanted to say like they don't respect me nor nor they should mm. uh, nor that they have a reason Reasons to, to. Mm. and it's been like that for decades and they, yeah. that's what they've been taught that's what they see mm. like you don't respecting them as well but i like how it was uh, uh the way it was shown when like the i get had headmaster or some like the, yeah, the, the woman um, came in i don't know what she is in the school and started talking, and everybody stayed quiet. Everybody Literally. listened to. She she threatened them with their parents, you know. Yeah. And, and, and she knows how to speak to them, you know. Uh, yeah, that's again, that's what they be taught as well to, yeah. to 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 listen to her, to respect her, yeah. too, you know. I mean, and then he started talking, and everybody, uh, the room became wild, yeah. you know. Like yeah, I mean, like that, that's that. what you would expect. Like you cannot be and make some police treating answer, like, them. At one point, the guy, the guy who works for Mario, with like uh, the when they were on with their hands, hands on yeah. the wall, he basically said like, "Why are you doing this?" Like let's continue like it's always been like you yeah you like beat us up and we're trying to avoid you basically that's it and that's how we you know that's what we're used to with you and it's been like it's been like that for decades you know like you can't just you can't just like this is start doing that and like think it's gonna work again i think bunny should have tried i think bunny should have tried anything i think you should try whatever you can and see maybe if something sticks because again there is not there is not an answer. There is n- it's not that there's not an answer, but the answer is not simple. You know what I mean? It's not a thing of like, if we do this, then this stops. It is a whole system. It is a whole system that needs complete rehauling. It is the police department. It is the judiciary system. It is the police industrial complex. It is like, there is the amount of things that need to be completely changed is... For, for, for actual changes to start happening is a lot. A lot of things need to just change. Oh, which is, again, what the show is uh, is doing and how it's going to end, which is, like, it's not going to be any type of, like, happy ending. Like, even if you have, let's say, a Kari who can walk away from it, even if you... Even if, like, someone like Herc, let's say, gets fired or anything like that, things are not going to change. Nothing's going to change. It was made in, like, 2000... 20 years ago. Has have things changed? No, like maybe there's like small things changed here and there, but like the the, the, the situation is still the same. The system has not changed, and so like when the system does not change, you cannot expect individuals can't make that big of a change when the system doesn't no, want to work with No, in my opinion, the only thing that can change that can happen is like ice catching stringer. But literally, we that can is... do that, and that at the end of the day is also very unimportant. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like, like and it's not even gonna be us. Uh, it's not gonna be like police's. Again, I feel like the reason why Steve Stringer is gonna get caught is because of Avon, possibly. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. like that's gonna bring him down because he doesn't have Avon anymore by him mm-hmm. by his side or something like that. Like yeah. I I mean, yes, maybe it's gonna be the police yeah. catching him or yeah. him dying by their hands or something like that. But yeah. like at the end of the day, uh, oh my god, if Stringer dies because like I don't let's say Avon kills him, something Jimmy is gonna be so mad. <laughs> Jimmy is gonna be so fucking mad that he well, didn't put him into jail. Like I feel like there's gonna be a fucking strong yeah. thing for Jimmy yeah. that happens, yeah, but which I think is like I. I don't see Stringer going to jail. I see him more than dying. Yeah, me too. So, like, then me Jimmy too. would not win against Stringer. Me too. I'm not sure, honestly. Maybe maybe, imagine, maybe he goes to jail and then he dies. Then it's a win-win for both. 
Yeah, but like, again, <laughs> but like again, I don't think that's happening because I don't think I don't know. I don't. I don't, th- I don't think I don't Avon it. kills him. Uh, I don't think Avon kills him either. For whatever I, I, reason. I, but I don't know. I can't. I don't know how he dies. Like I again, know. I said. Like I said, I think he dies from somebody else's hand because he didn't understand what is something because he yeah, he didn't understand didn't... the street. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I mean. Like, yes, let's say, how that's what I think as well, but I'm just like, who? You know like, what I mean? how? I, I don't think we know that that's someone. Just like it's someone random. That, I don't think it's going to be someone random. Like, for me, ex- except for example, it can be Mario. I just don't think Mario is going to be that important. Yeah. Like, it just doesn't seem for at this point right now. Maybe he will, but, but like, like, maybe it doesn't they are seem setting like... it up because, like, they keep saying in this episode, we like, got a bit of story on Marlo where they're saying that he is really... I know, like, I know. Uh, it just like I don't expect. No, I don't either. know. I, like I would, I think I me would either. think more that like it's gonna happen like in last season we're gonna meet someone or in season four we're gonna meet someone. Uh, maybe he's even gonna work with Stringer, but like Stringer's gonna do something. Maybe brothers. Gonna... Does brothers exist? Does brothers. Uh, I don't think. Yeah, that's what I. Uh, that's what I wanted to say. Like just like how he didn't know what not to ask. Brother, what to yeah? What because like he not had... to ask brother. I don't know. Uh, that's how he's not gonna know something and do something in season five. Let's yeah. say, and that's how he's gonna die. I don't think that's for me without Avon. Like you know, yeah, maybe yeah, that yeah. person is. Uh, if Avon was there, maybe Stringer wouldn't die. But like, I don't think Avon's gonna kill him. No, me neither. Me but neither. Like, but I don't know. I got. I don't know. Maybe it's just like I don't know. Maybe we'll get like a clear like, understanding. Yeah. I mean, maybe maybe Marla is a big deal. Maybe Marla was like. In season four and five as well. Like, maybe he's going to be a big deal. I don't know. Maybe. I'm just, like, saying in this moment, I don't expect it. But, like, maybe. With Stringer, we have this one, the the, the scene where he went to visit uh, D'Angelo's ex. And, you know, she was telling him that, like, basically the cop, Jimmy, told her that uh, he doesn't think that D'Angelo's murder was a suicide, which, like, it wasn't. And, like, Stringer said something that I thought was interesting, but, like, he said something along the lines of everyone in those walls knows who Avon is. Like, mm-hmm. no one would... No one there. would try. No one would dare. Yeah. I just feel like there's a bit of a, like, patting myself on the back there from uh, from Stringer. You know, just, like, everyone knows who Avon is, but, like, I got... I screwed him over a bit. Mm-hmm. You know? It, it, there, there was something there that seemed a bit, like... Mm-hmm. But I did. You know, like... A bit of like a power, a gloating moment. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That sounds a bit like that to me. Um, but yeah, he is now going to start taking taking her calls. Yeah. That's what he said as yeah. well. But he knows that Jimmy yeah. is thinking that. Yeah, now they know that he is basically worse than a drug dealer, his developer. <laughs> he is... The, he also had a meeting with the... What the fuck is his name? On C, mm, I feel like. Mm, I don't know. But I, I hate the the guy. Well. <laughs> yeah, I hate him. Of course, he is meeting up with him. Makes sense. <laughs> Senator, maybe yeah. We know the one. He already took the money from the. In season one, was it mm-hmm. when he took the money, uh, from from the Barksdales, whoever gave it to him? Yeah. So we have that. We have that as well. Avon's hearing, preliminary hearing, was just happening, and it seems like he is. On the verge of getting out. Yeah. And, like, they didn't think that he's gonna be getting out because of the letter that was, like, written that he is mm. uh, responsible for, like, potentially so many murders or whatever. But, like, that is not gonna do anything because, like, that was already a thing that was, like, let's say, no, when he was convicted. And, like, he did important things in jail. Like, point them to the guard that killed the guys. Yeah. But, like, he killed the guys. <laughs> you know, it's really ironic. It seems like he's about to get out. Like, I thought he wasn't because he was so talking about his exit so much. But now I feel like he does get out. I honestly don't know. Can't even predict. I have no idea. Like, he could switch to me. Mm. Yeah. Because, like, it just, like, I can't imagine his storyline if he gets out. I don't know. Either. So that's why, that's why I don't, I still don't think. Just, like, because I can't imagine what's going to happen with him and Stringer if he's out. Yeah. Like, I can't imagine where his, where Stringer's story, storyline goes. Like, I could only imagine if Stringer's truth I even I over to stay. That's the, that's the story that I imagine. So, like, I can now, like, I have to see what's going to happen. Yeah. Like, I com- completely envisioned that storyline, you know, yeah. saw that storyline, yeah. how it looks, and now if he no, gets no, out, cool. I like, have well, no Honestly, idea. 
I feel like my feelings about that change yeah, yeah, yeah. Every, episode every episode based depends. on like, oh, this person thinks he's not gonna get out. That <laughs> means he's gonna go out. Yeah. In the next episode, he says like, I'm yeah. coming out in a day. Oh, you mm-hmm. think you're coming out, you're not. So I honestly don't know. I keep searching back yeah, and forth. Oh, yeah, I agree. I That's why I'm like, certain. I'm even bored with myself of thinking Legend. like, what's that? We'll, Let's just we'll wait. See. Let's just wait and we'll see. see. Yeah, literally. Briefly, we had Littlefinger. I just feel very uneasy about him. Like, he is... He's the type of a person that I just don't... I don't like. He's gonna stand in a group of his, like, pals and buddies who are, like, all not good people and, like, start preaching about something that is, like, correct. But, like, you see that he... It sort of seems like he is speaking it to be, like, on a higher ground. Because, like, if you actually believe in what you say, you would not be sitting with these types of people, you know, around you. It just seems like he is searching for power. It doesn't seem like he is just searching for power to to feel powerful, not to help the city in any way. But like he is just like the rest of them, you know. Like there's not nothing. (laughs) That's very obvious. Nothing new. But like he is really the type of a person that I don't like. I have such bad vibes. No, honestly, at this point, I'm not interested in him at all. Yeah. Like we'll see if something changes in the future. At this point, like. They could not show him to me ever again, and yeah. I would not mind it. Yeah, I would not be. Yeah. I don't think I would be missing much. At least now, I don't know if he's gonna have some important role in future. Well, he wants to become mayor. I mean, so like... I know, I know what he wants, but like, he has right now no no yeah. connection with any of our guys. Yeah, you know, so like that's yeah. what I mean. Like, is he gonna do something to? Like we could start having connections. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But like until that happens, at least until that happens, no need. To to show. see him no like n- not a single wish to see him. you know what i mean yeah i feel that as well <laughs> okay uh, guys that's it. thank you thank so much for watching. watching we'll see you soon bye, bye.